in fact, the biggest challenge of all, biggest, I should have started my video with this. Can you imagine Donald Trump standing there and announcing to the people, if you vote for me, if you make me your president, I will ensure that all Americans lose their jobs, that there is 100% unemployment, AI will take over. That is our vision. Do you think he will be voted? Do you think a single Democrat or Republican would ever say that? Vote for me and I'll make sure AI takes over and all of you lose your jobs. Do you seriously think they will allow that, even if it's possible? The answer is no. Why? Because if you want people to vote for you, you need to take care of them. They need their jobs. They need to feed their family. AI is not going to be allowed to replace people. It will be allowed to improve the service and efficiency. Now, why do companies love layoffs is a big question. Why are they terminating Americans is only for the salary? Well, when you lay off people, you have money saved, money. Okay, so when you calculate your, uh, you know, financials to present it to the stock board members, what they're showing is, see, we have saved so much money, cost effective, plus profits now show better. Wall Street loves layoffs because it makes the companies look Efficient, lean, mean, machine. I'll give you an example since you think it is all theory. Bumble cut 30% of its workers 20 in 240 jobs in 2025. Immediately upon making the announcement that they had confirmed 240 jobs, 30% of workers, its stock price jumped up 25% the very same day. See how they play the game? Executives get big bonus when the stock rise, the CEOs. What do you think Sundar Pichai and Satya Nadella, what do you think they are doing? Yeah. So they are focusing on keeping the stock, uh, the board members happy. And as long as you keep them happy, you have the job. Tim Cook, you think Tim Cook was a visionary, is a visionary like Steve Jobs? No, Baba, no. So now comes AI, the spending. With the money that is saved, yes, you give them dividends or you have an option to keep it and reinvest. Companies are currently fixated on AI because AI is a hot topic. Uh, there are big egos at play, like from Elon Musk, Sam Altman, the new kid on the block, uh, Satya Nadella, Sundar Pichai. They all want to show my company is going to be the leading, uh, the leader where AI is concerned. So they have AI, then they have AGI, Artificial General Intelligence, which is like AI can think like a human. However, it's not yet developed. But if you ask them, they'll say, oh, it's going to happen in two to five years. Just like uh, Elon Musk is going to have, you know, underground tunnels, people colonizing on Mars in a few years, few years. What happened? However, that doesn't mean that these guys will not ask for money. Look at the figures. Huh? This will shock you. This will blow your mind off. OpenAI plans to spend $44 billion, Microsoft $80 billion, Google $75 billion, Meta $65 billion. See, companies are firing web developers. Now they have started to get AI, cloud, and data engineers instead. Okay. So they're getting rid of old school, bringing in new school. But till now, have you seen me say anywhere that they're getting rid of the old school? AI is taking over bye-bye everyone else? No. So does AI replace jobs? AI replaces some jobs like writing, content moderation. I spoke to my friend who's a manager, senior manager at TikTok. They have replaced quite a massive number of people for content moderation at TikTok. What they have done is outsource to cut down costs so they don't have to pay them benefits that come by being a permanent employee. And every time there is a new skill, Employ new people. See, layoffs are not just about AI replacing jobs. Layoffs are also, it's a game that you play to run your business. Companies overhide during COVID because they were excited. We need to be the first. That's what all of them are looking. Why do you think Mark Zuckerberg is 
putting so much money into the glasses, those big ass glasses. Apple had a big ass thing. What happened to it? They want to be the first. Okay. See, the whole uh, replacement of workers, they gave their name because of AI. It is not because of AI. It is because they made a mistake when hiring people excessive in COVID. But you cannot go to the public, to the press and say, I made a mistake. I'm the CEO. I'm the head of the company. I messed up. The stock prices will crash. Then the shareholders will complain. You will be out of a job. So, Sundar Pichai, when his Google, uh, what do you say, that main uh, big conference at AI, AI, AI. You know, you'll see that video. How many times he says AI? He's repeating like a parrot because he's supposed to. Uh, Satya Nadella, AI, it's AI, the collaboration, the co-pilot, blah, blah, blah. Shut up. You're just instructed to say it, to save your job, to get your bonus, to keep the shareholders happy. They will not tell you that we fucked up, we made a mistake, we assumed too much. These American companies are just looking for their own profit. Don't think for a minute that, uh, what's his name? Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, they deeply care about America and Americans, their patriots and Sam Altman is for charity. Countries like India, yes, it's becoming a headache to get these H-1B visas. So you stay there only, we'll pay you. Tax laws, they are using it to cut down costs and overhead, especially when you have to build so many data centers. Like I told you, my friend who runs this Indian restaurant, you think he's going to have AI there? People who sell fruits and vegetables here, they're going to use AI. In India, we have Bank of Baroda. We have State Bank of India. You think they're going to replace all those people with AI? You seriously think? You think the politicians are going to allow that? If people go crying to them in India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka. What, you think these countries, they are going to terminate everyone and put billion dollar AI? In fact, there was this US company who terminated and they embarrassingly had to rehire back. And they never tell you when they hire people in third world countries. <sighs> Remember this much, tech workers, Yes, they lose their jobs, but they lose their jobs because they do not know the new technology and softwares. New ones are employed in their place. And the focus right now is to be the first. So for that, cost cutting is required. Offshoring of talent is required. Uh, Donald Trump's unpredictable, you know, these visa costs and all that. So they are doing their level best to stay a couple of steps ahead, but they're keeping hush hush. And last, if not the least, remember, end of the day, every company has to keep its shareholders happy.